There we go. Off. I love that. It's so fun. Another one, Aaron. Yep. Well, let's see what this absolute chalupa is gonna go. He's a long fish, but like, look at that belly. That's like not okay at all. <laughs> Two ounces shy of five. I will take that. First couple minutes of our morning. Absolute giant. <laughs> like, I mean, like, you know, it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> there you go. There's one. Gosh. <sighs> On absolute fire. He ate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another one there. Probably three and a half pounds or so. Probably not quite four, but sweet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, the spot lock's trying to spot lock, and I'm trying to keep tension. Fighting, the spot lock is fighting, the waves are fighting, there's drag being pulled. It's not even a big fish. <laughs> It's like a four and a half pounder. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, it's like a it's like a four pounder. Nice! Chunky! Under four pounds. Nice and tubby. On the swim bait. Oh yeah. Or grass. <laughs> Giant. Thank <laughs> uh. you. <laughs> well, it's not a bad thing. Yeah, it's not a bad one. There you go, guys. Another one on the swim bait. Cracked it, as you guys saw. There you go. Another what? 24 pounds? <laughs> Sweet. Alright, guys, it's time for a new swim bait. That's fish number two on the swim bait, throwing a heavy head. This is the one ounce, one ounce uh, Freedom Tackle Hydra head. Uh, I'm fishing relatively deep, uh, between 20 and 35 feet of water. So this one ounce just keeps my bait nice and low to the ground. This is a three aught here. Actually, also a Freedom Tackle hook. Um, and yeah, that's the setup. Plus, I've been throwing like everything at these fish guys like absolutely everything and um they're following me in they're they're looking at it but they're just not committing there's a lot of fish they're just being uh, a little moody but yeah this is kind of being the ticket the last two fish second aaron picks up my swim bait <laughs> nice 
Oh, he's to oh, he choked it. Bro, look how he ate that. <laughs> Just gone. Just absolutely stuffed. Was that first cast? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. There you go. You want to release them? Another what, four pounder? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Alright guys, that is a wrap for today. Uh, I'm going to meet you guys back at the house. We're going to talk about our day. I'll show you guys what I used and I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite swim baits uh, for Lake Simcoe for this time of year. So I'll see you guys there. I'm telling you, it was my socks scared all of the fish away 100%. So as you guys saw, we started off the uh, morning a little bit deeper. I uh, caught a couple of fish in a blitz, you know, back to back to back to back, lost a couple there as well. Um, but ended up catching that one five pounder there, which ended up being the biggest of the day. Uh, but I think the mistake we made is um, I got really excited and wanted to go up shallow and start casting. And I think we did that a little too early. I think we should have stayed a little bit deeper, a little bit longer. But um, what can you do? <laughs> uh, hindsight's twenty twenty. But um, yeah, rest of the day we ended up just casting up around shallow, around grass, a little bit deeper. Pretty much just everywhere less than 30 feet of water. We ended up catching a couple more fish, mostly around that three and a half to four and a half pound range. So we probably ended up with about 20 pounds for a day, which is nothing crazy. Um, nothing, actually not really good for Simcoe at all in the fall, but uh, it was a good day to just kind of go out, get the feel for the for the fall. This is only my second, second time out this fall. So um, I found a couple of fish, uh, found actually a lot of fish, they were not biting. I, I'm going to show you guys here in a second. I probably threw 15 different swim baits at them. And um, the last one, the Freedom Tackle Head, <laughs> was the one that they ended up biting. Let me show you guys here what I was throwing at them. But a lot of fish, just a lot of moody fish. So these came out of my cup holder here. But as you guys can see, threw a bunch of different swim baits around. The Jackal Rhythm Wave 3.8 and 4.8 are some of my favorite swim baits. You guys can see here, another blue one. Nice silver one here. Uh, Beast Coast Miyagi up shallow in the grass. This is a cool swim bait my friend gave me. Another one there. Little Ace 40 in LB color. Another Jackal. So <laughs> they did not want anything to do with this. This is what I was throwing in the morning. They were so, so picky. So as you guys saw, I was throwing a couple of different swim bait heads, but the one that I didn't try yet was a free swinging head, either you know a football head, a wobble head, or a, a more streamlined swim bait head like the Freedom Tackle Hydra head. Um, so that is what I tied on. One ounce Freedom Tackle Hydra head right there. Uh, sometimes I will also throw a three quarter of an ounce, a three aught hook with a little bit of a bait keeper, and this is just a spark shad. But uh, I throw a variety of different swim baits on this head. You can pretty much throw anything you want. Uh, today it was a spark shad. Uh, one thing I don't like about them is that they only last one fish, but if the fish are going to bite, what can you do? So the thing I like about the Hydra head as opposed to a football head or a wobble head is number one, it's a little bit more stream, streamlined. I feel like it comes through uh, grass a little bit better. I like the eyes, you know, some swim baits don't have eyes, so that kind of adds a, a little bit more realism to them. And the whole free swinging system for all of you guys that have been following me for a little while, you guys know I've been using this for years. Uh, I like it a lot for both bass and for multi-species fishing, you know, pike and lake trout. It just adds a little bit more action to your bait. And when you're fighting the fish, um, since you know you have that you have that joint right there, uh, the fish have a little bit less leverage to spit uh, to spit your hook out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna leave links down below to where you can find uh, the bait I was using, the hydra head I was using, and also links to my uh, combo that I threw that on. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.